Uh, hello everyone, this is Sumit Kumar and uh, what I am going to do next is I am going to start <coughs> previous years ka question paper solving session okay so this is called previous year ka question solving session <coughs> so what I am going to do is uh, I 2016 ka December ka net maths ki question I solve karna wala hun, part C and part B in an easy method Okay, so that is the Aapka Vijay June exam up there. You pahoti jada a chaja, Aapka conference a chabade, or Aapko pahotse pahotjada fida. Why is kind intention? Okay, taki ab jada se jada cheese a sick pie. So that's what I'm going to do. So in each video, there will be six questions, six to seven questions. Okay, and the length of each video will be 20 minutes. So for and that means each question will have. 3 minutes to 5 uh, 3 minutes to 4 minutes okay so jitne bhi maine lecture series ye chalegi 2016 ka december ka usme har ek lecture mein aapke paas 6 video 6 uh, uh, questions honge aur length uh, of each question is like 3 to 4 minutes so aur uh, total usme aapke 6 questions honge 20 minute ka video rahega taki aapko zyada se zyada fayda ho okay so let's start okay and uh, <laughs> This, uh, what I am going to do? So, 2016 December, as I said, and booklet code is here B. So, booklet code could be after pass of booklet code B here, to more legacy, but then here to download the legacy websites. Young Noble Forum India ke website page and what I mean is a portions are linked in here. I was a jacket download the legacy and booklet code B. I think many of us booklet code B here, music of the ship. Okay, take it. So, booklet to the code B can be a part C section. We deal with the first so, part C. We will deal with the first part C. We will deal with the So, part C is the final question. Find out which of the following series converges uniformly for x belongs to minus pi to pi. Okay, these are the options e minus nx by q, sin nx by n phi, x by e power n, and 1 by x plus pi to the power n to the square. How we can solve this kind of questions? Okay, so let's come here to try to understand. Right, so first. So, how I can use the questions? Okay, so recall this one here, that's called Allen series. Recall some basic facts. So, what is that? If you have sequence of functions on some space E, and if your M and X is less than M, this is true for all X belongs to E. And this series converges, then this series converges uniformly on it. Okay, that's the theorem. I'm going to use this. So, this is called MM test. Please uh, go through it. And I'm using that. So, let's come to the first option. So, what is the first option? First option is here. What is MM the rule here? So, MM the rule here is Fmx is nothing but E minus M mod x by n q right you have here non-negative things minus this so take the modulus so this is always non-negative and this is always less than equal to n q because e to the power minus mod x is less than equal to 1 or all x okay so if x is 0 then it is equal to 1 if x is not equal to 0 this is strictly less than 1 hence this so m n the rule here is created by 1 by n q and of course this series converges by m n test uh, n q is less than this this is converges hence this series converges by this ok so this is converges uniformly same reasoning you can apply here what is this? this is less than equal to 1 by n to the power 5 so this series converges hence this series converges uniformly so this is also true ok what about this? so third one is very important question so third one, let me do the third one. So third one is what is the third one? So third one here f and x are rule is played by x by n to the power n, right? And x belongs to minus pi to pi. Okay. Okay, good. Now what I can do is look at this f and x mod. What is this? f and x mod means mod x 
the power n by n to the power n, right? And mod x is less than or equal to pi, so pi to the power n to the power n. And so what you can say about this series an where an is pi by n to the power n. What you can say about this series converges or not? So let's apply nth root test n by 1 by n. So what is that? n by 1 by n means nothing but pi by n. Let's take the limbs of limbs of of n tends to infinity. Limbs of of n tends to infinity. That's nothing but 0 because this means converges. So 0 and 0 is less than 1. Hence this series converges absolutely. Hence converges uniformly. So this series converges uniformly. This are the an exercise. Please try this. This is not true. This does not converge. So there is some important concept in corporate. Please try to do this. This are the an exercise. So please do this. Okay. Thank you for this. Ah, so now we will consider question number uh, 62 in RC section. So let's consider here. They are asking decide which of the following functions are uniform continuous in open zero one where functions are this. Okay. So they are asking just a general question which of the following functions are uniform continuous on open interval 0 1. You know there is a theory behind the uh, uniform continuity in open interval 0 1. If you use this, this is just two second questions. Okay. How one can do this? So how one can think here, right? How do you think here? So just recall some theorems. Okay. So question is, so, so theorem is recall some theorems. Let me write here. So look at here very carefully. Okay. Recall that theorem. Recall that fact. What is that fact? Okay. So f from a b to r is uniform continuous uh, on a b if only if this limit exists. Okay. This and this. Right. So this limit should exist. Now of course. So now this is your theorem. So first one, first option is fx equal to ex, right? So this as x tends to 0 plus, this limit is C0, 1, right? If if you are tending towards 0 plus and if you are tending towards 1 minus, what is the limit? E cap L1. Then both are finite, right? So this is uniform continuous, okay? Second number, fx equal to x. Of course, uniform continuous, left hand limit. 0 and uh, uh, 0 and this x tends towards 1 so limit exists so this also uniform continuous third number what is third fx equal to 10 pi x by 2 so now if you are tending towards 0 if you are tending towards 0 then you are tending towards 0 means 10 0 10 0 is 0 no problem but if you are tending towards uh, 1 from uh, what should I say left hand side then you, you are tending towards 10 pi by 2 and 10 pi by 2 is plus infinity, right? So this is the graph. If you remember, the graph of 10x is like this. So y equal this x equal to pi by 2 is asymptote for 10x. So that's what. So this is not uniform continuous. So limit does not exist. Okay, so this is not uniform continuous. Sin x again continuous function over a periodic function is always uniform continuous. Okay? So this is the way to do this, okay? So I, I hope you got it, right? So now let's come to see the question number 23. So what the question number 23, uh, 63 says that you have a care function, right? This is called uh, indicator function. Indicator function means which indicates something. So it indicates 1 when x belongs to a, it, it indicates 0 when x does not belong to a, right? So this is the indicator. And you have defined a new function fx from n equal to uh, 1 to 200, uh, 1 by n6 chi x on this indicator set 0 to comma n by 200 where x belongs to 0 to 1 so what you can say about this function is this function Riemann integrable is this function Lebesgue integrable is this function continuous function is this a monotone function you know everything don't expect key, everything I can do within this 2-3 minutes but I hope you should know what you mean by Riemann, Lebesgue and all those things if you don't know go back that theory and try to learn and come back Okay, that's the way to do it. So let's try to give the answer here how I can approach this question within fraction of a second. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Let's see. So, solution. 
how it can be here. So we have to partition. You have to partition 0, 1 by this. So this partition of the thing. This is 0, this is 1. So first interval, if you take n equal to 1, this is nothing but 1 by 200. If you take n equal to 2, then it is 2 by 200, and so on. If you take n equal to 199, then 199 by 200. If you take n equal to 200, then this is 200 by 200, that is nothing but 1. Okay? That's what. Now, let's try to construct fx using this. So fx is summation. If you take any x belongs to 0, 1, so either actually belongs to here, right? Other x belongs to here, and so on out here, right? So if x belongs to 0, 2, 1 by 200. So on y, if x belongs to here, means x belongs to here, means x belongs to here, and x belongs to here. So all indicator function will give you the value 1 and summation of this. So this is nothing but 1 by n6 and from 1 to 200, right? So if x belongs to here, so let's take the open 1 200, so 2 by 200. On this interval, the open 1 by 200 to 2 by 200. So only this, this value will align, this value contribution is 0, this indicator 0 to 1 by 200 contribution is 0 because that point does not lie here. And now onwards everything. So this is like increasing intervals, right? So this, you can write 1 by n6 except one value, that is what n equal to 1 is. So 2 to 200, right? Now you got the point, right? So this is this. Finally, the last one, if the value belongs to here, so of course that value will give 1 by 200 case and the finally if x belongs to your uh, 199 by 200 to 200 by 200 on that case value will give you exactly 1 that is nothing but that is put n equal to 200 so 200 to the power 6 so this is what so you know so function is so this is like here the biggest then it is like decreasing okay here the value was something, then 1 is uh, 1 decrease, then this decrease. So f is decreasing function, monotone decreasing. So f is monotone decreasing, and any monotone function is Riemann integrable, then boundary of course. Every Riemann integrable is Riemann integrable, then its continuous function on 0 1 is false because this function is discontinuous at precisely this point, this point, and this point. Okay? So set of discontinuities of f is precisely this set 1 by 200. 2 by 200 and so on, 199 by 200. So these are discontinuous, so function is not continuous, is a monotone function, of course. Okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4. So do like this, think like this. For me, it took 2 or 3, more than 3 minutes. We have it solved in net exam, it will not take more than 1 minute. So be fast in such kind of calculation. Don't do mistakes, try to learn from here. Okay? I hope you got it. Now look at this question number 64 in section C. So question is that let A be a non uh, n cross sign non similar matrix with real increase and B equal to A transpose denote the transpose of A, then which of the following matrices are positive affect? First one is A plus B, second A inverse plus B inverse, and third one is A, a times B, and fourth one is A times B times A. Right? That's what we will make A B A. How many can approach such questions? So what is this given? We have just given you the non similar matrix, right? So let's try to understand this question. Okay? How to do this? Okay? So what is the definition of positive definite? So matrix is said to be positive definite if A transpose equal to A and X transpose A of X is greater than or equal to 0 for all X. If it is real, then it, of course we are working over Rn and uh, is equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to 0. That's the definition for a positive definite. The matrix is equal to positive definite if it is going to be symmetric and x transpose x is greater than equal to 0 and this is equal to 0 if and only x is equal to 0. Use that. So first option. If a is non-similar, does it imply a plus a transpose is positive definite? False. Let's take a equal to minus identity. This is non-similar matrix. B is equal to also minus identity because this is the transpose of A. What is A plus B? Minus 2 times identity. Check this is not positive definite. Okay? Because positive definite, so this statement, this statement is equivalent to all eigenvalues should be positive and matrix should be 
symmetric. So a symmetric matrix whose so all eigenvalues are constant is positive definite. That's other than than this. So if you look at this, this all eigenvalues are negative and that is minus 2, not positive. Second, A must plus B inverse, so it's same example rule of Third, AB, what is AB? AB is here nothing but A into A transpose. Check that. X transpose A into A transpose into X is nothing but, right? AX transpose into A transpose X. Okay? So look at this. And this is always greater than 0 for all x not equal to 0 because A is invertible. So x non-zero matrix. So invertible matrix maps non-zero matrix to a non-zero matrix. And this is product of two non-zero vectors and hence it is always positive. So this is positive again, okay, third one. So first, second bit is false, third one is true. And what about the fourth one? Fourth one is A B. I think the second example will work here. Not A B A you will get by above is nothing but minus identity. It is again false. So only this option, uh, third one. So now, so basic basic things if you know, you can easily give the answer to all these questions. For that, your theory should be sound. And if you are feeling difficulty, don't worry. Work out as much as you can and feel positive and do mathematics. Okay. So I hope you got it right. So uh, whatever the remaining questions I have, that's I'm going to post in the next video tomorrow. Okay. So stay tuned with us. And one more thing. अभी तक हम लोगों ने जितना भी क्वेश्चन किया है, I have given in sorts way to like how to answer in the exam hall. Even though you know apply your shortcuts also there, and shortcuts will come when you know the long cut. So try to get your knowledge as much as you can. Work hard in the right direction and do mathematics as much as you can. Okay. And जो भी क्वेश्चन अभी बचा हुआ है, वो हम अगले वीडियोस में करेंगे. फिर नेक्स्ट वीडियो में हम चार से पांच वीडियोस को चार पांच क्वेश्चंस को और ऐड करेंगे अच्छे अच्छे क्वेश्चंस को और उन्हें सॉल्व करेंगे विद इन टू एंड थ्री मिनट्स सो डेट आपको पता चले कि एग्जाम में कितने समय में अच्छे से हमें करना चाहिए ओके यहाँ पे समय लग रहा है क्योंकि यहाँ पे मुझे लिखना पड़ रहा है बट एग्जाम हॉल में अगर आप चीज़ को लिखेंगे तो आपसे जल्दी हो जाएगा सो ये चीज़ पर वर्कआउट कीजिए एंड अगले नेक्स्ट वीडियो के लिए कल का हमारा लेक्चर देखना ना भूलें थैंक यू